Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I want to work on this little birdhouse that I picked up at Dollar Tree a few weeks ago. Um, this is a nice little wood um, birdhouse, I guess that's what it is, but it's a really decorative piece. I want to make this so the inside of this is going to light up. I'm going to do a little bit of decoupage on here. I want to use some of these flowers on the sides. I did pick out this other napkin. I think I got these on Amazon too. Um, oh, a while ago, so I don't I don't know exactly which ones these are. But here is the. Oops, where's that number? If anybody wants to pause that and get that um, number there, if you want to check those out, I'm pretty sure it was on Amazon. This one I got a long, long time ago. It's a Lennox napkin. You could check on Amazon for that too. Um, like I said, I've had these for years, but I'm going to use some of that on here. I might not even use that B1 because I didn't realize there's little bees on this napkin. So I may just use this one napkin anyway, but you could use any napkin with some pretty flowers or whatever you want to put on this on this thing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drill a little hole in the back here. I have my handy dandy little Dremel here with a small drill bit. It's the only drill bit. I don't know where my other ones are, but we're going to wiggle it around and make it work. Um, to drill out a hole and I'll show you what we're going to put back here. I got this stuck. Um, I'm not going to do this on camera because it's, it's an awful noise, but I'm going to take one of these little tea light candles from Dollar Tree, the little battery operated ones. Now these little things come off and then you are just left with your little light in the front there and it's much brighter if you take that little thing off. So this, I just need a hole big enough for this little light to stick through the back of this. So. I'm going to go ahead and drill that real quick here with this thing. I love this little tool, but it's going to make a lot of noise, so I'm not going to do that on camera. So hang on while I drill that out. All right, so there is my little hole I drilled. I just, that drill bit too, way too small, but I just put it in there and just kept moving it around and around and around. But, you know, if you guys have a bigger size drill bit, there you go. I do somewhere. I don't know where they are that go to this thing. But anyway, that worked, so now this little light will fit right in there perfect and then it will be able to turn it on and off from the back. I was thinking about using like a string of the fairy lights but I don't think I don't know how that would look in there you would see all the strings and I don't know if you want to try that you could go ahead and try that but I'm just gonna do it with this little tea light candle. Alright so first thing we gotta do is get this thing painted. For the roof I'm just gonna use some of this apple barrel um, it's the real brown this is outdoor, indoor paint. You could use whatever color you want. I'm just going to use one coat because I'm hoping it's still going to see a little bit of the wood grain through there. And then the rest of it I'm going to paint with this chalk paint. This is just the white Adirondack. Um, you could use any white you wanted to because we're going to cover this thing with Mod Podge anyway. Um, and then I'm going to use just a little bit of this. Which one is this? This one's lilac chalk paint, home decor chalk paint, because on the front here I just want to paint those little flower petals in that pretty purple color. I thought that would look good with the white. Now this paint is so old. I mixed it up best I could in here. Sometimes when I add water to this chalk paint it just doesn't work all that well, but we're just going to use a little of this. I This stuff is so old, but it did thin up a little bit for me here, and I only need a little bit of it, so as soon as I get it off my fingers. So I'm just going to take one of these little bitty and my bird's going to make a lot of noise right now. I had to leave my doors open because my husband's not home. I don't want to hear what's going on out there with those guys. So I'm just going to paint just this little piece of these, just the little petal here, just like that. I'll probably do two coats on there of that pretty little um, lilac color. And then the rest of it I'm just going to paint white because that's what matches best on my napkin. So I just want to do these real quick. I love these little brushes from Dollar Tree. They're great. <clears throat> yep, that's my Sun Conure. So if anybody's interested in getting a Sun Conure, you can hear how loud these little guys are. She's a very sweet little girl, but she's very loud. All right, so I will finish painting the rest of this thing off camera here, and hopefully I can get these birds to settle down so they're not constantly screaming while I'm trying to get this done. 
You could also paint that inside a different color too if you want to, but I'm just going to do these little petals and that is it. And I think one coat might be enough of this. It covered really well. So there is that pretty little lilac color on there. And I think that'll look pretty with the with the white. I don't know. I don't think I want to do... Do I? No. I'm not going to do it. I was going to paint the center maybe lilac too, but I think I'm just going to leave those little petals in that lilac color. All right, now for the rest of this, I'm just going to take a brush. Let me put that one in some water. Just, you know, Dollar Tree brushes are my favorite. Um, I was thinking about taking this string out too and just using it to put it on the shelf, but I think I'm going to leave it on here. I'm just going to try and be really careful not to um, get a lot of paint on here. So anyway, let's see how this is going to look. This real brown here. This reminds me of a nice like milk chocolate. So that'll be the roof color. I'm just going to do one, you know, nice thin coat here and I think that'll look really pretty. I don't want it to look like it's, you know, really heavily painted just so you can see a little bit of the wood grain. And then I think when we put the Mod Podge over top of it, that will really bring that out. So that will be the color of the roof. There we go. And then for the side, I think I'm going to do the bottom in that brown too. I think that'll look cute, but I am going to tape this off so I don't get um, it on where I want to paint it white. So, because it's hard to cover it up. Just get this edge. There we go. Yeah, I think that'll look pretty for the roof. I like that a lot. All right, so that will be the roof. And then for my sides, I'm just going to be using this white Adirondack paint. And I'm sure this is, I don't know, we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to need one or two coats on here. But I think I can get up under here pretty good with this. Yeah, this is, I think, going to need two coats. So that's what I will do. I will put two coats of the white Adirondack on here. And all the way around. And I just got purple on my finger and on the back. <laughs> Off to a good start. But yeah, I'm going to tape this up so I can actually get the bottom um, painted without getting it all on my white area here. If I can find my painter's tape. But yeah, this is definitely going to need two coats because I want this to be a really nice white because it really brings out the image from the napkin and stuff when you decoupage on it if it's a nice, really crisp white. Alright, so I'm going to finish painting this up. I'm just going to paint all this white and the roof and the bottom in the brown. And then when that gets dry, I will come back and we'll put on our images. Alright, I got this guy all painted up here. I think this is so cute. I did the bottom too here with the brown. Um, and then the back. I'm just going to leave the back plain, I think, on this one. You could decoupage on the back too, but um, I'm not sure if I'm going to hang mine. Or if I'm going to put it up on one of my shelves. So either way, at the back of it's not going to be seen. But it definitely, if you want to hang this outside or something, they do have an outdoor um, Mod Podge too that you can get. That stuff kind of really smells. So I would want to do that probably outside. But um, I'm just going to use regular Mod Podge because I'm going to be using mine indoors. Do I have one here that's open? that has a lot in it. I have a lot of these Mod Podges with just a little bit, but you know what? We're going to use those up. And I'm going to need a little dish to put it in. Alright, so to cut out the image here, you're going to want to take your all your plies off of here. This is a three-ply napkin. So, I'm taking off these two plies here. And I always save these to wipe my hands. Um, for the sides of this, I did actually just cut these out. I was doing it with the water pen and stuff, but I really don't need to because these just are going to kind of fit perfect on the side here. And I'm hoping I can just get that on. And then I will just, I'll show you with a um, nail file just to trim the other ends off. So I think I'm just going to put these on like this, but I do want to cut out a couple little bees. So I have one cut out here already that I did with my little water pen. 
and I want to cut out another one. So if anybody hasn't seen how I cut my stuff out, I use one of these water pens. Sometimes you can find these at Dollar Tree. It's just a little brush and then the little tube you fill up with water. Or you can just use a regular brush, you know, and just dip it in water. It does the same thing. But to cut out my little images, I just go around here with my water pen and then you want to make sure you cover the whole image with your finger because if you can see it you're going to rip it so that's what I do here just to cut out my little bees and things and normally I would cut out all this stuff like that but since this is so small and that's going to pretty much cover the whole side I'm just not even going to bother doing this for those I started out doing it but then realized um, I'm going to rip that out of there because I don't need all that in my way. But I do it this way because if you cut these out and have straight lines, the edges don't blend in very well. You can kind of see the straight line. So if you do it this way and you have your little like jagged edges, it'll blend in better. That's why I always make sure I make the background um, match the color of the napkin. So that's why we did it all in white. So there is one of my little bees. These little guys I want on the front. And I also cut out a few of these, um, you can see there's like little stems on here. Let me get rid of this thing because it's just going to glow from that light. Um, just some of these little stems and flowers here, or leaves rather, that were on here. So I think I'm going to have them wrap around the front too. So, this should be pretty quick and easy. And, oh actually, you know what, let me plug in my glue gun here because I am going to glue that light on the back of this when we're all done. Let me get that warming up here. There we go. All right. So let me dump some of this Mod Podge in here. I'm going to get rid of some of these little bottles. And this is gloss Mod Podge. It doesn't matter if you prefer a matte finish. You can use the matte color or whatever. And then I'm just going to take one of these Dollar Tree brushes and... I think I'm just going to put a little bit on the edge here and see if I can get this thing to line up nice for me. And go right up underneath there, hopefully without ripping my napkin. So let's see how that's going to work out. So let's see. I'm just lining that up with the front edge, I hope. That looks pretty good. There we go. That worked out pretty well. And then I cut it so it just fits up underneath there. And then I'm just, since it's down to the one ply of napkin, I'm just going to go over the top of this with the Mod Podge. And um, hopefully that'll do the trick here. Because it'll soak right through the one layer of napkin. And then when this all dries, I'll show you how I just cut off the edge there. Makes it real easy to cut off. Just want to make sure you have enough Mod Podge on here to smooth everything out and not rip your napkin. And if you don't have a pretty napkin, you could probably find some really pretty stickers or something to add on here. It's going to be a little tricky getting that up under there. There we go. That looks pretty good. Get down over the edge. I love these napkins. These are like one of my favorite ones with these flowers on here. They're just so pretty. And I think that will be good. So make sure I got that edge down good because we're just going to trim that off with a nail file. Once it's good and dry. So there, there is one side on there. So pretty. And then we have our pretty birds on the front. And now I want to get this on this other side here. Hopefully I can do this without sticking my hand in the Mod Podge on the other side. All right. So now, which way did I want this one to go? I think it has to go... Oh, I have the wrong edge here. Well, that's fine. Let me line this edge up over here. under the roof a little bit. Let me grab this so I can see it. Yeah, I put the Mod Podge on the wrong side. What a dingbat. I really wanted to start on this side, so let me get a little bit over here. 
because that's not working out for me. Because I had this cut nice and straight for the front so I didn't have to worry about trimming that off when I'm done. That's good, right there. Okay. And see, I almost stuck my hand right in all that glue. All right, so now we'll get this side on here. Make sure we get plenty of it on top of the edge there so that doesn't pop up on me. little wrinkles out. There we go. That looks pretty good. A few little wrinkles here and there I gotta work on. Sometimes you just tap them out, figure out which way they want to go and it works out pretty good. They want to go up. All right, get up under there. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I'll work on a few more of these little wrinkles here in a bit. Some people like to use like saran wrap and stuff to smooth them out. I don't have any luck doing that, so I know guys are always telling me to use some saran wrap, but I just work on them here a little bit here and there. All right, I think that'll be good. Make sure my edges are real good. All right, so there we go. This side's starting to dry. And sometimes it'll look a little bubbled up as it's drying, but that'll lay, actually, most of that will just lay back down once it starts to dry. Let me smooth some of this out here on the bottom. All right, so now I want to put a couple of these little bees on here. Um, I don't want it to look like they're attacking the, <laughs> the bird. So I think I'll put one down here. I think that should work right here. And these little pieces are so easy to get on here. All right, so there we have our one little bee there. And I want to put another one up here. And again, I don't want it to look like it's attacking the bird. <laughs> so we're going to have him maybe up here. Now, here it's going to fit better. That's fine, right there. See how those edges just kind of blend in there? Now, after you get your images on, you're going to want to kind of put a layer of Mod Podge on everything here, you know, so it all matches and it's all shiny. But I do want to add a couple of these um, little vines in here just to add a little something more to the front of this. I think that'll be good right there. I'm just going to leave that like that and then we'll trim that off. Oh, I don't want it that close to that bee. Up a little. Um, I'll just trim that off with my razor blade. I don't know. Maybe we're going to do it this way because I don't want to see the end of those. And I keep changing my mind. Right there. That's where that's going to go. See? And then there'll be just those little bit of vines coming over the front. I'm going to leave this hang here because we're going to trim that off. Um, actually, I can probably do this one wet because I'll let it dry a little bit. Um, I should be able to pull that off. I don't want to mess with it yet. Let me let that dry just a little bit more. All right, now I had another little piece here. Where'd you go? Here you are. Oh, these little leaves. And then I wanted to put just a few over here. I think that's where I wanted this little guy. Yep. 
The front just seemed like it needed a little bit of something here. But that's it. And let me tell you, I stuck the little candle in there and lit it up. This thing looks so cute. Um, so I'm just going to go over the rest of this stuff here and, um, you know, get a nice coat of Mod Podge on everything just so it's all the same shine. And, um, yeah, I gotta wait for this to dry though before I do the back because uh, I want to show you how I trim off these edges. But this little guy here, I can set this down because it doesn't touch the, the tape. I'm hoping I can do this without it being a disaster. There we go. Look at that, came right off. Perfect. And then this side here, I had a little piece. Yep, ripped it right off of there. There we go. Just blend those little ends in there. You'll never see them. Perfect. My little bee has a wrinkle, though. All right, there we go. That's better. All right, so I'm going to let this dry. I'm just going to put another coat up here, and then after I um, show you how to take this off, then I'll put my Mod Podge on the back. But I don't want to do that yet, because I'll end up getting the napkin stuck in it. And I stuck my finger right there. See my fingerprints? Look at that. <laughs> so I'm just going to put another coat up here. All right. And then I think I need to get up in here a little bit more. good. Um, I'm going to let this dry and then after this is all dry and I get these edges off all I need to do is put some Mod Podge on the back. Actually I think I may glue the um, light on there first because I don't know how well that'll stay on with the Mod Podge. So I might do that first and just paint around it. Um, but all right as soon as this dries we'll come back and we'll finish this up. Okay this is all nice and dry now. Um, I cut this side off here. You can see how nice that cut off. Um, this side here I wanted to save to show you guys. Now, I'm just using one of these nail files. You get these at Dollar Tree or anywhere. And then you're just going to go on your edge and you just want to kind of pull down here. Not, you know, flat so you're scratching the back, but just on the edge. Just like this. And that cuts that off so nice. There we go. And look at that. You have your a perfect edge. There's the other side. So easy. Um, and that's it. That is pretty much done here now. Um, I didn't Mod Podge the back because obviously, you know, I had that paper hanging all back there. But I want to glue this on here. Now we're going to take our little tea light candle. Remember we took the, the little wick part. They just pop right out. Um, take that off of there. And then I am just going to put some hot glue right around this hole here. Ugh, as soon as I get this glue up. I already have a glue web. I haven't even done anything yet. Get off me. <laughs> but I'm just going to put a couple of big plops of glue here. And my grandson's in there playing again, if you can hear him in the background. And then I'm just going to stick this. I made the hole big enough just so the light bulb will fit right in there. And whichever way you want your little switch to go, um, you want to keep that however you want that. So I just did it this way. So that is it. That'll be on the back. No one will ever know. And then there is your sides and the front. And then I'm going to dim these lights here and I'm going to turn this on. It is so pretty. Um, the cutout here. Let me get these lights off so we can actually... There we go. That's better. Look how pretty that looks. It looks like there's a candle in there. I wish that didn't flicker quite that much. But, yeah, that's just one of the Dollar Tree candles. That's really flickery. It didn't look like it was going to flicker that much. But anyway, you could probably use a different one. 
doesn't have to be a Dollar Tree one, but look how pretty it shows the cutouts if this was just, you know, hanging somewhere at night and that's all you would see is just the cutout would look so pretty. But that is it. That is my idea here. Get these lights back on for these little birdhouses. Turn that right back off like so and there you go. And then it just looks pretty wherever you have it. Um, I'm just going to go back here and uh, find another brush here and just put some Mod Podge on the back here to make this all match nice. Now that all my stuff is filed off the edge here. I'm just going to work around this thing. I just wasn't sure how good the hot glue would hold on the candle. But this isn't hard to do. Plus this stuff dries clear, so if you get it on your candle, it really doesn't matter. But there we go. Now we have that. Now it is complete. And yeah, it was just real easy just to go around that. Nothing to it. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little project. I'll put some nice pictures at the end here, and um, I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.